This Crestwood Coach Conversation brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service. We're with boys basketball coach Lynn McCormick. And coach, it's been a wild ride of a season. Uh, you expected the unexpected uh, coming in. Did you expect this much uh, craziness? Well, no, not especially from our team. Uh, uh, you, you don't always think it's going to happen to you. But, yeah, we've been shut down twice and had games postponed. And then uh, – I got it too and missed a game. So, uh, Darren, it was the first game I missed in 40 years. So it was, uh, it was unusual for me too, but, uh, we recovered, uh, hopefully we can get into a routine here now for the end of the season. That's the, that's the biggest thing. We just need to get in where we're practicing every day and, and playing our games on a normal basis. And hopefully that, uh, that'll take place now. After 40 years of coaching, is that paid time off? Is that a personal day or, uh, is that a sick leave day? Well, I don't think, I think it was the kids glad to see me gone day What's <laughs> every once in a while. But Oh, just, I mean, if you don't mind me asking, uh, obviously uh, we, a lot of us talk about uh, COVID-19 from an arm's length distance. Uh, you've uh, dealt with it uh, personally. Uh, How do you uh, manage uh, dealing uh, with uh, something that uh, far too many people have had to? Well, uh, both my wife and I, uh, tested positive. We weren't feeling very good. The only thing we had, we had some very bad headaches for about two days um, and uh, developed a cough and uh, we're pretty fatigued. Just going up and down stairs was not normal for us. Uh, other than that, we didn't lose any taste or smell, but it does knock you down for a couple of days. So I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, and uh, personally, I just, I've never had headaches uh, like that. Uh, you just want to sleep all the time, but we're, uh, we're on the mend, and we were done quarantining back on January 8th and both in really good shape now. So no problems and no after, after effects for us. Oh, yeah, we're glad to see you up and running uh, once again. Uh, your most recent game, you went uh, down to Denver, and uh, it was a pretty competitive ball game on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, you ended up losing that one 67 to 63. How do you uh, – what, what were the takeaways uh, from your uh, most recent game? Well, I thought we played uh, pretty well. It was a good, tough game. Denver's a really good team. They shot the ball. They're, they're a team of shooters. Uh, uh, they, they shoot about 35% as a team from the three-point, and, and they made a number of those uh, on us, and, and uh, they were difficult to guard. Uh, they really uh, take the ball to the basket hard. But the positive thing for us, we made some three-pointers that night, and we really struggled uh, in that area. We did a much better job rebounding. That was our emphasis was to box out and rebound and hopefully knock down some threes. And we did those things. And it was just a good, tough ball game uh, with our schedules being so interrupted and, and not being able to, to really prepare the way we wanted to. Uh, uh, it was a good game for us. And hopefully we're going to have some good games here down the stretch and, and get back into our routine, as I said. Well, you'll have uh, plenty of opportunities to play games. By my count, uh, you got... 10 games are remaining really within the next month of the season, uh, really less than a month. Uh, how do you manage that from a uh, preparation practice and keeping your kids as uh, fresh as can be perspective? Well, that's always the, the thing you have to watch for. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably cut down uh, some of our, our drills and practice and maybe cut back a little bit of practice time uh, towards the end of the season here. We might put in a new wrinkle or so, but we're going to st probably stick with what we have. We'll do a lot of shooting, a lot of free throw shooting. We always like to do that at the end of the season to uh, to uh, make sure we're we're ready to go for games. But uh, just preparing for teams and going our scouting report and uh, just kind of backing off a little bit uh, on, on some of our our tough drills and, and doing more shooting and free throws. And I know uh, when it comes to preparing for the teams this year with everything uh, going on, I know a lot of coaches have told me they've kind of backed down a little bit on the uh, scouting this year, knowing the fact that uh, games might not get played. Are you trying to keep that as regular as possible? Well, we're trying to. You know, the last one, as you know, our Decora game got postponed. We were, we were ready for that one uh, as far as a scouting report. Well, then that's thrown out the window. You just use it for the next time. And, and uh, uh, we've got to be so resilient this year. The kids have to be. The coaches have to be. And, um, it's, it's a little frustrating, but you deal with it. And our kids have dealt with it pretty well. And, and uh, I really give them uh, credit. Uh, uh, being shut down twice has been, been hard on. I could see the second time in their eyes. It was just, oh, not again. 
but they've responded really well. I'm really happy with the way they they've dealt with it. And uh, it's going to make great young men out of them because they're dealing with things that they've never had to deal with before. And really, I'd have to say it's probably going to help you in the short term and the long term, because uh, with two curveballs really thrown at you thus far this year, all the stuff that you can't control. I don't think a lot more else uh, could come your way this year. could it? Not really, Darren. No, it's been that way. And we told the kids from the beginning of the season, we can control only what we control. Uh, if other teams, if, if we can't play, that's the way it is. Uh, you've got to be, uh, you got to be ready to play when the games are on. And, and you're right, we got a lot of games here uh, in the next month. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll get into a little bit of a routine with that uh, and uh, finish off the season here on a strong note. And bottom line, uh, kids uh, like playing games more than practicing for the most part, don't they? <laughs> Oh, they do. Yeah. I think if they didn't ever have to practice uh, here late in the season, they'd like that better. And, and to be honest, the one game where we did, we, after we got back from a shutdown, we had one practice and played a game and, and our kids played pretty well, to be honest with you. So maybe the rest in the long run will help us too. All right, uh, coach. Well, glad to see uh, you're healthy. Uh, glad your team, you, glad to see your teams uh, getting back to healthy uh, and uh, it'll be a good game over in Decorah tonight, and uh, we wish best of luck and uh, good health uh, for the rest of the season. Well, thanks, Darren. Thanks for doing this, and and uh, hope you stay safe and healthy and, and your new bride as well, and, and uh, always great to talk to you. This Crestwood Coach Conversation brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service.